part of the fun of working on this 97 Taurus that I'm helping out someone with is that the uh, caliper pins um, were stuck in the caliper support. I'm not too sure what you call this. That's what it's fastened to the back plate and holds the uh, caliper pins. This would be your single biggest problem in a brake job is if these are rusty or corroded and don't release and slide, uh, your brakes probably won't work. So I have, I sprayed PB Blaster in the top of the boot, and this boot actually came off of the support, and I'll re retighten that. But uh, these pins will have to be worked on a, a wire wheel to get these things shined up. I probably ought to replace this part, but um, I'm not sure if the local store will have them, and I'm not inclined to go out and get them now. But uh, this is part of a brake job I'm doing on the rear brakes of a 97 Taurus. I'm going to try to get this other one out now. They were just frozen. Okay, I cleaned up these caliper pins for this 97 Taurus. Um, probably ought to replace them. But uh, believe me, before I did these on a wire um, grinder, wire brush uh, they were really bad noticed notice the notch on the tops of those as that fits into the caliper support and uh, these are most important to uh, apply silicone grease to uh, keep these moving okay after getting the caliper support straightened out and the pins put back in some minor quirks with this. I've also got the caliper piston rotated back in and cleaned up the back plate a little bit. Um, I used a tool that I bought that isn't what I recommend. It's incredibly difficult to use. Uh, it did work but I I don't know I was kinda betting like it wasn't gonna happen. Anyway, I'm going to go reassemble this brake setup on this passenger side rear wheel. One other thing I decided to do is actually measure the opening of the piston to the end of the travel for, or the distance I should say, needed to install new rotor, a new rotor and two pads. And to me it was um, about, just about two inches. So that might make it easy for you to determine if you can get the, the caliper back over the new rotor and brake pads. And these are the brake pads here, um, pretty thick. The rotor along with the brake pads comes up to just about, just under two inches. So if you've opened up that piston to two inches or have it set back in its uh, travel, the bore, you should be good to put that all back on without any hassle. Uh, this is the new uh, new rotor in place on the passenger side. I put a, a lug nut on the bottom to hold it in place while I put the caliper uh, mount uh, support back on the top here. Okay, after you've put the new brake pads and the new rotor into position, this is what you're looking at. And as I said, you're going to need just under two inches. It's just over an inch and seven eighths of space on this caliper opening between the piston and the stops on the outside. And I've got two inches here, just enough to slide that over. That would make it a lot of e easier for a lot of you if you measure first before you go and try and fit this on because it's probably the most difficult part of putting a caliper back into place. Anyway, you got to remember the um, cutout in the piston that it faces the proper place to put this caliper back in place. 
Okay, this is the new caliper uh, pads and rotor installed. Yeah, my closing comments on this brake job for this 1997 Taurus GL is um, these are the rear pads that came off the car. If you can see, this one here has uh, got a particular problem. Uh, and I almost didn't notice it up till now. The pad is worn, but it's got a lip on it. So it tells me that whoever installed these pads didn't install them right. Um, we bought the car for a relative about four years ago and I don't believe we ever did check the rear brakes and this pad is pretty well worn. As I said earlier what we found, what I found is that the caliper pins were frozen actually to the point that I had to work them loose with PV blaster to get them off. Um, that alone says a lot for the rear brakes on the car. They just didn't function. Everything was worn. Um, and, and I guess I would probably tend to believe from having driven a front wheel drive car that the rear brakes on most front wheel drive cars are, are not to be taken to be reliable because they they don't tend to um, function uh, proportionately as well because they're at the back end of the car where there's not as much weight. The front brakes on a front wheel drive car do all the work and they wear out twice as fast, maybe even faster than that. I, I, I know that from other um, information, but if you're going to check brakes on a front wheel drive car make sure you keep an eye on the front pads because they're the ones that are going to go first uh, this pad here is even cracked so um, I'm just glad that I put a new brake system on the back for her because um, you got to have them all to be safe and uh, even though they don't work as hard as the front um, it's important so that's the end. I don't know whether a lot of information on this video was helpful. Um, the important thing is if, if you do it right, it's real easy to install the pads and, and reinstall the caliper. Um, the problem becomes with the functioning parts. If you don't lube them right, uh, nothing's going to work, work well.